Apple, from its beginnings, distinguished itself as a different brand, and from that time, it became clear that people flocked to their product. It's easy to see the parallels between how people view their AirPods and how Durkheim explains his totems. Each clan has its totem, which belongs to it alone. Two different clans of the same tribe cannot have the same. In fact, one is a member of a clan merely because he has a certain name. All who bear this name are members of it for that very reason. In whatever manner they may be spread over the tribal territory, they all have the same relations of kinship with one another. AirPods have become the symbol of status, and as its totem, one clan now has rituals and practices to distinguish themselves and align themselves with this clan. Here is a look into that clan now. What is this? Samsung, man. My friend, what is this? Samsung. I don't have a hole. Who cares? Why do you keep using those? Look, it's simple. That's bullshit. No, it's not. I'm tired. No, it's not. Okay. Dude. What are they? I will charge you for those. Hello? You paid extra for those. Simple. That was like I'm a kid. But you, you got to untangle these and do all this shit. I get that. Why are you in this kind of religion? What is this? What is this? What is this? You should throw this out. What is it? Listen, those that can't kill you, you don't pay a dollar for you. Who? Okay? Those headphones. But these cost 170. Congratulations, they rip you off. And I bet you, if somebody, if it's cold, you got your phone in your pocket and somebody call you, yeah. or you're trying to stop your music, you gotta put your phone in your journal. Samsung is bad, man. Are you kidding me? Your Apple is the worst. At the end of the day, it costs less. It is costs less. Like, oh my God. The reason why I can't do Samsung is against my religion. It's taboo. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you told me that at the beginning. As you can see, my friends right there are very religious. You see the emblems, MacBooks, iPhone, AirPods, and a watch. Very simple. So it's a religious thing. Yeah, it's not religious. Hey, man. Your car looks amazing. You seem very cool. I want to join you guys. How to do it? Here, an outside member would like to join the clan. It's easy to see the benefits of it, and Durkheim explains, when we say that they regard themselves as a single family, we do so because they recognize duties towards each other, which are identical with those which have always been incumbent upon kindred, such duties as aid, vengeance, mourning, the obligation not to marry among themselves, etc. Say your goodbyes. I'm not going to say this bullshit again. It's not bullshit. Alright, Come on, you don't know. You can join my clients, you gotta know. Leave it, leave it. You can't touch it. Alright, Thank you. You gotta take time. Thank you. So let's walk here. These are my leaders. Yeah. Okay, as I was I saying, respect. this is this is the guy that I wanted to join our religion. So can y'all help him please? Follow me this way. Yeah, this way. Well then take you took a head and a By the power invested in Steve Jobs, we now pronounce you a part of this clan. Apple. The last thing we observe is the collective effervescence of the group. And Durkheim explains how the new clan member feels this way. Feeling himself dominated and carried away by some sort of external power which makes him think and act differently from normal times. Thank you very much. All his companions feel themselves transformed in the same way. In the final ceremony of presenting the AirPods, the new member is transformed and is finally a member of the clan. Oh man. You hear him? This is amazing. You feel the power? Wow. Hallelujah.